to my channel I'm Anna and this is you got me in stitches so today it is part four of my pattern collection and this one is really exciting especially for me because it's all my vintage patterns so for me vintage patterns hold a lot of curiosity especially with the decades that have now since passed so are you someone that really likes a good vintage pattern or are you somebody that's like oh it makes you cringe and think no i would never go and wear styles from say i don't know the 60s or 50s or 1900s and then obviously pre-pattern times there would have been books that everybody can reference and also i enjoy watching some of the other bloggers that do things through the decades and or sanctuaries you know all the costumes and everything absolutely fantastic so and it's incredible to see how much clothes have changed and actually how little we wear today compared with I don't know even in the 60s although dresses for ladies were very short they still had all the accessories like gloves and hats and yeah all the extra little bits and pieces and you don't get that so much in sort of everyday wear in today's world so yeah anyway let's go guys okay guys so first up simplicity 6844 it's a 1966 pattern simplicity 6020 1973 and economy design number e191 and Modella 5678 so the last two I couldn't find any dates on but again I really like these wide leg pants here and the dresses there and I like the detail the there if I just bring that a little bit closer for you that's pretty cool next up we have another economy design number E141 we have something called a Women's Weekly Special Pattern B605 in Butterick B829. On the Women's Weekly you have a dress there and also if I bring it a little bit closer, the top on this one as well and they've teamed it up with a skirt. I think the star lines are pretty cute on that and as you can see that one's a little bit ruined. Yeah, some of these patterns, as you can expect, guys, over the years, they're a little bit beat up. So, yeah. But on this one, it's just the cover on that one. And it would be the inside. Again, really lovely details there. And on this one, again, I guess it's a 60s style pattern. I will say the year if I can find them on the back of the patterns for you guys but and also I've got to think of time as well because there's a lot of patterns to go through righto next my cars 4028 simplicity threads 4180 simplicity 9158 and simplicity 6605 and that one there is a 1974 pattern so on this one I really like the style lines there you can play around with these patterns quite a lot you know, like the detail there and here you've got sort of non-fussy flat fronted pants there which I like that style 
Simplicity 56509, Butterick 6994, a woman's home special pattern B388, and Nula 6720. And the Butterick pattern, I like the full skirt there. And look, it's View C, guys. And the Simplicity one, I like that tie front detail going on there. And again, you can play around with that quite a bit. And the same again on the Woman and Home one. Style 3726. And it was a 1972 pattern on the style. 4018. And it's a 1983. Then a Blackmore pattern, 9264, and less familiar with that pattern name company. So this is nightwear, so that would be a robe or a gown, whatever you'd like to call. The 80s, I kind of like the middle view there, and then this style one. I kind of like most of those shirt designs there. Okay, so we have a Butterick, I guess that number is just 431, a little craft um, project there. We have Macars 4576, and it's a 1975 pattern, and then Simplicity 8295. I like the full skirt in the 8295, and on the middle one here, these tops are not too dissimilar. To kind of current styles. I've got a couple of tops that I have made in that style, but the yoke there is not as wide. And again, fun sleeves going on there. So next up, a news of the world pattern. I couldn't find a num. Well, it says number five two. So. Then Butterick 6742 in a really old pad in here and it's style 4690 and then the end of the style one is 4908 and for various reasons kind of like all of these styles and considering this one is really really old it kind of reminds you of the 80s with the big sleeves and big uh, shoulders and everything so but I'm guessing that is a 1940s pattern looking at the style and the hair okay first up Butterick 532 then the middle one style 4011 and the end one Butterick 5000 I've checked inside that is definitely a 5 the middle pattern is a 1972 and this first Butterick one, 532, is that really pretty? It's really quite glamorous for <laughs> things to wear to bed. Butterick 9189 and that one was a 1968 pattern. Butterick 6154. The family circle one doesn't appear to have a number. Oh, well, sorry, yeah, right in front of me there. Number 34. Is that B? And then the style is 1467. And the year is 1976 on that one. So, again, I really love this old. Butterick style, just so pretty. McCall's 2901. And that one is a 1971 pattern. Then style 1742. And style 2109. And the year of that one is 1968. Style 853, 
and then style 2645 simplicity 5796 and woman easy makes is that a W36 I'm not sure if that's actually a pattern number or not guys The style 2645 is a 1969 pattern and this old one here I thought was quite funny it's called Shoddy Pyjamas Modella 5864 style 1543 and Weldon's 3485R Yeah, for various reasons Again, I like the style on the shirt there, I like the little detail just on the sleeve there, a little bit poofy. And again, this is kind of cute, a couple of square necklines going on there, and a nice classic skirt there. Modella 592. Modella 4827, style 4529, and Butterick 7708. I absolutely love all these, actually, for various reasons. I think this beautiful dress here is awesome. And, yeah, I think you could do quite a few variations if you wanted to play around with the styles on them. This one here is a 1974 pattern and couldn't see dates on the other ones I'm afraid. Simplicity 9706 and that's a 1971 pattern. Simplicity 8874 which is a 1970 year pattern. Macaws 4473, which is a 1975 pattern, and then we have style 3753, which is a 1982 pattern, and I think that lady there in the red dress, very Lady Diana I think, so yeah, the Simplicity 8874, you've seen that I have actually made that one, so yeah. Simplicity 8186 and Weldon's pattern 435, Macar's 2134 and style 1757. This pen and the Simplicity in the Macar's there are both 1969 patterns and this one here is a 1976 Pattern. Economy design number 186 Butterick 4736 style 1470 and Macaws 8624. This one here is 1976 and this one here is 1966. 8073 and 8418 Simplicity 7544 and Simplicity 3397 I have made this view here of that cape and it was in that really lovely fluffy fabric and I slightly bought it in and shardened it and it was what I was just going to wear with my dress that I'd made for this year's dressmaker's ball but in the end didn't really wear it because it was actually a really really warm evening anyway and that one was a 1968 year pattern okay so Berta 8404 simplicity 6944 
and Simplicity 6809. This one is 1975 and this one is 1966. This reminds me of a Mimiji pattern. They're not too dissimilar to Amanda from I Sew A Lot had sewn, oh, probably about 80 months, possibly even two years ago now. Style 3883, and that's a 1972 pattern. This one, I don't know if that may have been originally out of a, a book, it said issue 24 there. I can't see an actual number. Anyway, Simplicity 6587 and Macaws 3878. And this one here is a 1973 pattern. Simplicity 9221. There isn't actually a cover. It kind of came just with the instructions and the pattern pieces in that little bag. Macaws 3608. Uh, practical pattern 6397. And style 2755. I absolutely adore the practical pattern one. I think that's so fun. And as you already know, I have made the Macaws 3608, and the year of that one was 1973. And this one is 1970. Style 4219, Wildens 83. 29 style 3373 in Braderick 4312. Look at those pants, guys, and that waist. I think that's so cool. That one's a 1973, and that one is a 1971. And look at this one. Isn't that awesome? Some of you guys must reminisce and perhaps wore fabric like that. It reminds me of the lovely Alex who has recently started vlogging and I watched our video this morning and yeah she's got some wacky fabric that she's used on a cocoa pattern and she looks absolutely fantastic in it. Style 2130 Woman 418, style 783, and simplicity 6772. This one is a 1968, and this one is a 1966. News of the world. Simplicity 5240 we have a family circle pad in there, Butterick 5653 I think that is, yep that was 5653, Simplicity 9986 and a Sunday People pattern 693. This one here is a 1972 pattern. Style 684, Macaws 3183, Simplicity 3813, in style 1572. This one's 1972, and this one's 1988. Woman 
three two nine, my cars three five nine five, Modella five nine nine five, Weldon's so easy five three seven. So that's something to wear at bed. Really like the star lines on that one. Really pretty. Always had a little bit of opulence and elegance, don't they? This one's nineteen seventy three. McCall's nine one seven nine style two five five four. Economy design E one two two and Weldon's so easy number eighty eight. I really really like this one. I think that's very nineteen forties, don't you guys? Okay, so we have Simplicity 2036, Leroy, never heard of that pad in company before, 576, Butterick, Sui Sui, Sui Sui, and another practical, 6463. Again, isn't that a beautiful dress? That's absolutely stunning, really like that. And I know it's a little bit wacky, but the sailor outfit there. Style 3405 and 1920, 2206 and Butterick 3830. This one's a 1971 and that one is a 1977, 1968 and this one is a 2003 pattern year. Yeah. Simplicity 7177, a Sunday People pen 552, Realm 246, and Practical 5659. And this one is a 1975 pattern. Okay, style 2394, McCall's 2011, Simplicity. 6010 and simplicity 7049. This one's a 1978, 1969, 1965, and 1975. Style 4677 and economy design E21. Again, on this one, I like that little top going on there and oops, sticky tape coming off. Even the uh, pants there are pretty cool. That one's really lovely as well. Sorry if you can hear those guys. Nightmare. Simplicity 9155 and 6329. I have made both of these. I've made the view there and the view there. Absolutely love that dress. This one is 1970 and this one is 1974. Okay guys, I wanted to add these two in. I know they're not, not strictly vintage, but they are in my collection. Colette 1008 and Simplicity 4318. Cute little combination going on there. Simplicity 9838 and 8637. Macars M5390 and... 6377. Okay, I had to read that one upside down. Which is also on my cars one. 
1972 in 1969 in 1993 the Macaws one there Simplicity 3878 6618 in realm L68 I like this one for the detailing there on the shoulder and this one is so not me but wow I don't know I was thinking maybe dressmaker's bile or something simplicity 6528 top one which is very easy vogue pattern 9812 style 3379 in the bottom one vogue 7781 1974 is this one, and 1981 is the style one. Righto, next, style 2469, simplicity 8925, 6157, 6327, 8848. This one is a 1971. This one is a 1974, 1975, and that one is 1970. Style 1659, Macaws M5094, and style 4860. 1976 on that one, and 1974 on that pattern. Okay, so the last three patterns are all Sunday people patterns. 503, 612 and 523. Okay guys, so that is the end of all of my patterns in my collection. I really hope that you have enjoyed this. And also reminiscing over some of the vintage patterns. Have you got any? Have you shown any? You know, was there any uh, in the family or anything like that? It's always good to kind of sort of think back to styles that have kind of gone by, but they're also coming back now. Okay, guys, so it wouldn't be me, would it, without the noise? There's must be building work going on. There's a ton of wind. It was even raining when I was showing you guys some of the patterns. Yeah, scorching sunshine, then rain, and wind, and noise, and people, and just chaos, really. So... Yeah, it's to it all, I guess, isn't it? So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this. And again, let me know in the comments below what you think. It's also so cute as well to the left of me. There's a little juvenile fledgling black bird. I can also hear another bird taking a bath. And it's just so adorable. Whilst I was filming, a little wren came by. That was so sweet. Yeah. Anyway, so most of my pittings that I purchase are predominantly thrifted or gifts or swaps or anything like that. Again, tell me where you get your patterns from. Do you thrift them? Are they heirlooms? Are they passed down through family? Yeah, clatter. And yeah, I mean, have you got some originals? I tell you, if pittings could talk, that would be fantastic stories that they could tell us so and also I like the vintage patterns in the sense of the style and everything and the pattern covers and also people that have you know previously owned things and they put little notes down and I just think it's absolutely amazing I really do and just yeah I treasure I really do treasure my vintage patterns patterns especially so okay guys I'm gonna wrap everything up now everything's just getting yeah too noisy and I still have getting over a migraine that I've had a couple of days as well so anyway if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and put in the comments below and also a very warm welcome to my new subscribers say hi and join in if you have any of the vintage patterns as well and let me know okay extra bonus video this week hopefully going up tomorrow fingers crossed and also the regular scheduled Sunday video. It might be a little bit later. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. 
okay thank you so much for watching guys take care and have a great day